what's going on guys welcome to basement bar beers beards and bs you're probably wondering why i carried in the glass and the beer this time i put new floors in behind the bar and i need to lift the fridge to slide it forward to get it to the right spot so the fridge doesn't really open all the way so yeah so i gotta fix this but i need to phone a friend or something same with the top so anyway on today's episode more beer because that's what we talk about a lot less bs today and i'm going to butcher the name of this i always do kind of like wicked weeds pernicious so i always want to call it pernicious which i know is wrong zeke i hate you another story so i got my cold glass out i got my beer all ready to go so today thanks to my buddy roy who brought these over the last time he came over to hang i haven't had one of these in a very long time i don't know if i would consider this a craft beer but it is a belgian family uh Brewer's beer. This is, let's see, brewed by the family brewing. It's from Belgium. Belgium beer. Belgium ale, Belgium ale, Belgium ale, Belgium. It just says it around the top infinitely. Uh, it is a 8.5% alcohol by volume in a one pint and 0.9 ounce can. So depending on your where you're from, this is a proper pint. The American pint, I guess, we cheap out on. I'm guessing. Uh, elected the best beer in the world. It's on there. There's also Pink Elephant. This is Delirium Trimmins. I'm sure, I muffed that up. I should probably call my buddy Zeke and ask him how to say it properly. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, Delirium Trimmins is the correct way to say it. So I was, kind of, I was probably totally wrong. Also, fun fact, known as a DT is a medical condition for alcohol withdrawal, which can be fatal. <laughs> What a way to name your beer. The Belgians are crazy. I like that. Um, so I'm gonna get this poured before my glass. God, I'm not gonna get another glass. It took too long. This is what I was trying to avoid. Proper pint. Here. Really smooth. It doesn't taste like an 8%, 8.5%. Best serve 41 to 45 degrees. Just really close probably to what I'm serving it at in my nice frozen mug. Man, elected the best beer in the world. Brewed by the family brewery. Nice little Belgium beer. It's a good beer. Kind of dry on the backside, really smooth. Has a uh, kind of moldy smell, which I like blue cheese, so I love, I love the smell of this. Definitely kind of frothy, and it's not an O2 um, can, just regular little tenner. Apparently you can take this somewhere and you'll get money for it, but out here in Georgia, this is really good beer. I'm drinking out of my uh, Oktoberfest 2019 at West Dry County. It's a really good beer. Nice, nice, nice gold color completely see-through nice and smooth very frothy i feel like that's kind of dangerous because some beers that are high gravity and i would consider really seven seven five over to be you know high gravity some people might think that anything over eight is pretty high gravity this is a relatively high at an 8.5 percent alcohol by volume and it doesn't taste like it this is a beer when it's really cold it's easy to drink yeah you'd have to be careful you drink a couple of these someone's gonna do some dancing on the bar with a the robot Not me. No, maybe. It's a good beer. I only got one left. I, I shared them with my friends. I'm also running out of beer in my fridge. I need to do some shopping or something. You're gonna Charlie's or Total Wine. Almost out of my uh, sweet water. So it will be time for another keg soon, which I'm pretty excited about. I like swapping them out, keeping it fun down here. So I'm off, this is my third keg, so I'm really enjoying this. Oh, 
Anyway, it's getting close to Christmas. I hope you guys are getting all your shopping in. Uh, my wife does most of ours because I'm bad at it. And I would overspend and get things that are totally unnecessary, like buying things for the motorcycle. I just gotta make it rideable to Sturgis. Very good beer. Very frothy, very smooth, but still light in a way. I didn't think there was a better way to drink it other than I have a giant beer stein. Probably could have got one off the wall or something. Is it probably dirty? Yep, this is a better idea. Might definitely a better idea. Yeah, I'm dead serious. It's a dangerous beer. Now I understand the name a little better. Delirium Tremens. Alcohol withdrawal. Huh. That's what that medical condition is called. And they put a pink elephant right on there and named it the world's best beer. Alcohol withdrawal. Delirium Tremens. I feel like Delirium Tremens would be like the name of a character in a, uh, what was the guy's name that did it? All the Edward, let's see, he did Edward Scissorhands and Nightmare Before Christmas. He did all my favorite movies, Bat the original Batman. Always cast Edward Norton. No, not Edward Norton. God, you're an idiot. The alcohol is getting to me, and I'm really distracted. The camera's turned around, I can't see me, which means I can't concentrate or think at all. I'm seeing Edward Scissorhands. I feel like I got my APR hat on and my APR shirt. I just realized my APR glasses were sitting over there. <sighs> Who played Edward Scissorhands? Edward Scissorhands has a cast of 26 actors. Here are the first three. Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder, and Diane Weiss. Let me know if you want me to tell you more. No, shut up. How could I not remember Johnny Depp? Who was the, hey Google, who was the director of Edward Scissorhands? Edward Scissorhands was directed by Tim Burton. Mother. That's where my brain is right now. I'm so distracted that the camera's turned the other way. It's got these sunglasses on. My brain completely failed me. Getting old for the birds. Now I can be old and forgetful and absent-minded in my own house. I know a lot of beer places, beer reviewers, give beer a rating. I've always had a hard time rating anything because my palate's gonna be different than anyone else's. My wife, for instance, we went to a place called The Nest, which is one of our favorite places to go out to eat because we know one of the bar managers there, we know the owner, and I don't order beer. Alex just knows what we like to drink and he just brings out the little four pint, uh, four, Jesus. Four pint, he brings out the four ounce samples for us to try, so we get to try a bunch of different beers. But Maggie always gets very dark beers. She always gets, um, tends to be high gravity beers that are bourbon barrel aged something. And I always get IPAs, where I might give a Wicked Weed Pernicious a solid eight or a nine, which is really high marking if you're going zero to 10. She's gonna give it a one or a two. Maybe even negative. That's how much she thinks that IPAs taste like soap. Like, I think this was a great beer, but I would probably give it a five or a six. But I have some friends like my buddy Devin that would probably give this a seven or eight. That's what's so great about beer. Beer is, you know, it's a personal thing, just like anything else. I love Harley Davidson's. Not a big Honda Cruiser fan, but whatever. To each their own. So I encourage you to go out and find the kind of beer you like. A lot of people that don't like beer might actually kind of enjoy this one. Not a lot of bite, relatively smooth. As long as it's cold, it's really easy to drink. On that note, my cup no more runneth over. My cup runneth empty. And on that note, ooh, hold on. There's one sip left. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning into my YouTube channel and watching me sit in my basement uh, and try to remember names. It should be really easy and I have to ask Google all the time because my brain is mush and I have no one to blame but me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you get a notification anytime I upload new content. Thanks again. I really appreciate you guys. I'm getting close to 200 subscribers. Let's keep this momentum and keep sharing and telling everyone how amazing this channel is and how much better Wade has made it with his editing. Until the next beer, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.